Happy Monday, Dose Pueblos. Hope you all had a fun and restful weekend. Welcome to our April 11th installment of DP News. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Ashley Oaks. On today's show, we'll be covering... Grand Duchy. SBCC Senior Orientation. Volunteer Opportunities and more. DP, DP News starts now. Grand Duchy, an original musical based on Mark Twain's The Prince and the Pauper, opens this Friday, April 15th at 7 p.m. Other showings will be April 16th and the 21st at 7, April 16th and the 24th at 2. Tickets are now available at www.dptheatercompany.org. It is $10 for students and $14 for adults. Let's send it over to Anne with one of the show's stars. Hi, I'm Ann Bailey here with... Luke Williams. So Luke, what's happening this week? So this week, Dos Pueblos Theatre Company is putting on a play of Grand Duchy. It's a never-before-seen original, which is essentially a take on The Prince and the Pauper by, Mac by Mark Twain. Sweet. So what's your role in all this? Uh, I play Val, the dynamic rebel leader. Essentially, uh, my role in the show is uh, I'm trying to bring progress to San Domain, which is the name of the country, with my group of, what, three or four-ish rebels. And we're just trying to, you know, bring change, bring a lot of new things to the country. Sweet. So what's your favorite song or line? Uh, let's see. My favorite song might be Time to Think Big. However, my favorite line might be right before that, which is, um, uh, I don't know much about Rome, but I do know about people who make a difference in this world. When they've got a dream, nothing stands in their way. Sweet. I'm blown away, Luke. <laughs> well, when can we see this? Let's see. Uh, opening night is this Friday, the 15th, I believe. It starts at 7, and then it's going to play through this weekend. And I think we have another show. We have two more shows next week, I believe. We also have an outreach for children on Thursday, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Sweet, Luke. Well, thanks for coming in and sending it back over to Olivia and Ashley right behind us. We hope to see you there. In other news, the SBCC Senior Orientation begins today, Monday, April 11th. Ms. Irwin will be giving, taking names for students interested in attending the orientation at SBCC on Friday, April 29th. In order to attend, you must have already applied to SBCC and completed your assessments for math and English, or completed the college level class. If you did not assess here at DP, you will need to bring proof of assessment. This means that you must print your course placement and eligi eligibility from Pipeline. Completed slips are required and due no later than Monday, April 25th. Please note you must take the bus to and from DP. No exceptions. See Mrs. Irwin with any questions. Speaking of City College, UCSB is excited to bring the Transfer Making It Happen program back to Dos Pueblos. If you're interested, attend the parent and student session on Wednesday, April 20th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Ealing's Performing Arts Center. Or if you're feeling particularly independent, go to the student-only session on Thursday, April 21st from 11.24 a.m. to 12.54 p.m. and 8.30. Looking to take care of some of those volunteer hours? If so, you have a chance to volunteer at the La Patera Elementary School upcoming fundraiser at High Sierra Bar and Grill on Wednesday, April 13th from 4 to 9 p.m. Volunteer tasks include face painting, balloon creating, supervising children while they play games, and keeping them in line. Head over to the Career Center for more info. Another opportunity is Peer Buddies, where you will be paired up with your own buddy with special, special needs to help them have a blast at a fun-filled summer camp at the Ealings Park. Fill out an application at www.peerbuddies.com before June 1st. From there, click Programs, Inclusion Camp, Peer Buddies, and then Enroll. Hey, Olivia. Have you bought your yearbook this year? Why, of course I have. I want to treasure my invaluable memories of Joe's Pueblos as long as I live. You've got the right idea. Listen to this girl if you haven't bought your yearbook yet. Get on it before it's too late. Go to dpyearbook.org. That's all the campus news we have for you, Chargers. Now over to Peter with the sports report. What's up, 
GP. This is Peter with your sports report. Even with a cold and rainy weekend, our team still performed well. At the Arcadia Invitational, Hunter Clark won the 3200 meter two mile race in nine minutes and 22 seconds. That's four minutes and 41 seconds a mile. That's crazy fast. Christina Rice also ran a blazing time of 10 minutes and 56 seconds in the 3200 meter to set a personal record. DP Girls Lacrosse won the city title on Thursday night, beating Santa Barbara 11-9. Becca Baxis led the charge with four goals, and impressive defense from Mika Henriksen, Chloe Wells, and Serena Applebaum slowed down the Dons. Carly Schwann locked down the goal with six saves. The girls are now 8-2 overall in season. Boys Golf fought hard against rival San Marcos, but lost 372-370. Andres Fairbarn led the team with a 70, and Mika Benedictus and Zach Steinberger shot 73s. The boys are now 3-1 overall in league. That's all for your sports report, DP. Now over to Nandini with current events. Good morning, DP. I'm Nandini Braganza, your current events reporter. In the digital age, more and more people are applying to jobs online. However, often they receive no response from employers. Tara Bernard, the author of Job Hunting in the Digital Age, which appeared in the New York Times, said that although the business of hiring is still largely a manual process, employers are experimenting with increasingly sophisticated technology. The technology sifts through hundreds of applications in order to present employers with only the most outstanding. The technology looks for keywords in order to find the most qualified candidates. Employers are also now conducting Skype interviews in order to get to know the applicant better. Bernard advises that applicants use keywords, stay current, and be camera ready. In other news, New York Times says Elon Musk's space rocket, rocket SpaceX successfully landed on an ocean platform. This is a milestone for the company because it shows that they can land rockets both on the ground and in the ocean. In addition, this advances the development of space cargo. Thanks for listening, DP. It's Lizette back at it again with the weather. Today's temperatures will be 68 degrees with a possible chance of thunder and a low of 54 degrees. Tomorrow's temperatures will be 71 degrees and partly cloudy with a low of 53 degrees. And Wednesday's temperatures will be 74 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. A quick happy 16th birthday shout out to one of my best friends, Sid Abad. I like birthdays, but I think too many can kill you. That's all for you today, DP. We'll see you tomorrow.